What's up guys? It's uh, your boy Leverica. We're gonna try chapter two of Andoran Saga. And it looks like uh, from last time we must have parked something to get the uh, guidance chapter first light. So that's kind of cool. I wonder what it was. But uh, how, how you guys doing? In these guidance chapters, you can move around and talk to members of your party and sometimes other characters as well. These guidance exist purely for optional story purposes. You can skip them if you have no interest in them. I hope that doesn't mean you get zero experience. I don't like those guidance chapters. When you're done, you can exit the map at the point highlighted by the arrow. P.S. Exiting and resuming during guidance may cause some slight visual glitches. Okay. So I can just talk to the homies? Dang, I guess I better talk to everyone. Oh, it's the guy who saved us! Thanks for that. You killed fewer people than we originally expected. Still, I managed to perform a decent sacrifice. <laughs> uh, who are you? Sacrifice? Oh, don't mind Jenny. She dabbles in sorcery here and there. It's just a side thing. It's, it, it's her side thing, so what? Uh, I'll just go enjoy my drinks over here. What a strange fellow. Do you think he enjoys listening in on other people's conversations? You can't judge oddballs like, like him by our normal standards. Some people are just weird like that. Yeah, he's the weird one. Yeah, some people. Okay, so that's both of them. My boy Ferdinand? Alright, let's talk to Angelus. There you are, Bottomin, my goodest of friends. I've been looking for you. Oh, if it isn't Angelus. I still have no idea who you are. I find it hard to believe we're as good as friends as you say. Ha <laughs> you know what they say. Time causes all members to fade. It's only been five years since the rebellion. My memory isn't that bad. Well, there is one explanation for why you can't remember me. It's because I'm the shadow dragon of the whole game. And that would be... I'm just not the sort of person to stand out. Yeah, okay. It's like my mother always said, I blend into crowds. No, it's definitely not that. It's absolutely not that. You stick out like a tumor. <laughs> oh, bottom in, to forget the face of your friend is a tragedy. But to forget his voice? Agony! Worry not, for I have a special medicine to remind you of who I am. I, I think I'd rather just forget you ever existed. Yikes, Jill! The cure for a poor memory is simple. I shall sing you a dazzling song. Only then will you reawaken your passion for my presence. Oh no. You don't have to do anything but that. Ahem. Oh sweet winter. Spring is in the air! The doves are cawing, behold my dear air. It's a good song, man. Are you daft? Doves don't caw, you, you idiot. They they go to hoodle or something. I, I, I don't know. Sixteen pine cones sitting on a stump. Ten fell off, then struck mother's from. These are bangers, what do you mean, bottom it? What does that even mean? It's complete nonsense. Ah, oh, I can't stand this. Chaka, Chaka, where's the nearest cliff? I need to cast myself off the tallest summit. Yes, this is for my well-being. <laughs> oh, that bottom in such a jester. That is why he's my bestest friend. What a, what a riot to be support conversation by. Alright, let's talk astrology with my girl, Lily. Oh, hey, Potamin. Grampy has told me so much about you. I'm super excited that we finally get to meet. Same. 
your grandfather and I go way back. I'm curious to see what sort of heir he's raised. Well, I'm not good with swords, fighting, or anything violent. Grampy calls me tenacious, so that must count for something. When I put my mind to it, I can accomplish anything. Right now, I'm learning my fourth language. You know three languages already? Are you fluent? Mm hmm I speak Adarian, Styxian, and Phyraxian. Right now, I'm practicing the beast languages. Draconian is really hard to vocalize. Yeah, I bet it is. I keep biting my tongue. Centaurian is just a little bit easier. I can't speak it well, but I can understand it. That's pretty handy. I only speak the common tongue. Well, that's fine. Most people only speak the common tongue anyway. Even if my translation abilities aren't useful, I enjoy learning. I must ask, what is Phyraxian? I've never heard of it before. That makes sense. Phyraxian is barely used by anyone. I only know of one tribe to the north that speaks it. Ah, but it's so cute. Every word is like a funny little song. That's right. You mentioned before that you liked music. Totally. My favorite composer is Sir Boris from Styxia. I learned Styxian also I could understand his lyrics. Okay, alright. He sings about love and pretty birds and the four seasons. There's one song about a girl who died in his arms. I cried so hard that I ruined my makeup. Huh. I'll try to listen to his performance someday. Maybe I can attend one of those theaters in Styxia. Are you a fan of the arts, too? I'm not particularly. But if you recommend him so highly... I do. Let me know if you want his lyrics in the common tongue. I'll translate them for you when I have time. A simp? I'll be troubling you then. What an interesting person. The, uh, what, need something? No, I just wanted to say you did well out there. Pardon? During the fight outside. I knew you picked up a few tricks, but I didn't realize you were so good with the sword. Ah, uh, well, yes, I'm not a little girl anymore. You dipped out for damn near three years. I had to do some growing up while you were gone. Sorry. That must have been hard on you. You don't have to give me that look of pity. It's fine. I'm alive. I did some growing up, met a nice old geezer. And I don't know about that. He taught me a few tricks for wielding my sword. I'm glad to hear that, sis. I worried about you a lot. Then why did it take you so long to return? Did you forget I existed? Do I not matter to you? Am I a burden on you? Of course not. Don't even say things like that, sis. It's not you, it's me. I got in my, way over my head. I became indebted to the Thieves Guild and Holtmeyer. They held it over me until I worked for them. Worked for them? That's not right. The Thieves Guild something. They must have had you doing some shady business. It's difficult to make a living. I barely saved up any gold. The Guild knew I was skilled, so they rung me like a, a dish rag. I've almost paid off my debt, but now I'm one of their rats. They have dirt on me. I have to keep my mouth shut or else. Or else what? It's better if you don't know. Alright, well, I'm glad you're back. Let's not bring up the past. Sounds good to me. Does it let me talk to everybody? So, Jaka? Do you think anyone else will answer your call? Dalfo, I'm pretty sure it. anyone who would arrive has arrived. We did get one last, one late response though. Someone you know. Who? Dimitri? Alan? Nope. It was from Victoria. You remember her, right? Do I ever? Haha, <laughs> wow, what a blast from the past. Haven't heard from her in years. How's she doing? She's getting married. She is? Ah, oh, damn. There goes my chance at her heart. Oh well, as long as she found happiness, I'm glad for her. You had a thing for her at one point too, didn't you? I did, yeah. Yes, she's the reason Rehez became my uh, type. Well, she's not the first, but she's one of them. Oh? 
Who was the first? Wait, don't tell me. Was it Caroline? <laughs> but sometimes I wonder if you're a mind reader. I'm right. Damn, I saw you following her like a puppy. I always wondered if there was something I was missing. Well, she was married after all. It wouldn't have worked between us. What's with you in chasing women who were spoken for? That's rich coming from you, Bottoman. Does Lady Catherine ring the bell? Or the wife of Sir Egan, Lady Mary? Those were accidents, one-off moments. It's not like I'm chasing married skirts regularly. Lady Phoebe, the Red Duke's mistress, Lady Charlotte, wife to Sir Lauren. Need I keep listing them off? I have like a whole Excel document. Come on now. All right, all right, point taken. Maybe I picked up some bad habits from you. You do have the air of a scoundrel about you. Yeah, that might be it. Who can say? Not me. Excellent work out there, young master. Your skills haven't degraded one bit. I was starting to think the princely life might have dulled your senses. Now I see that my fears were unfounded. If Rod had waited five more minutes, I'd have been too drunk to fight. Sadly, I'm far from mastering the art of the drunken dagger. <laughs> yeah, okay. Honestly, I must ask, what were you thinking, young master? Why would you charge into battle without waiting for my arrival? If the rest of us had delayed for 10 minutes, I'd be burying you. Bravery is a commendable trait, but bravado is a fool's gesture. Sorry, Sam. There were innocent lives at stake, and one of, one of them actually died. That's crazy. I couldn't sit back, sit back and do nothing. That's not who I am. Oh? Are you saying that had you not moved, that man would have died? Was Rod truly bloodthirsty enough to get him in front of the townsfolk? Yeah, totally. Your silence speaks volumes, young Master Bottom. You did not use the brain the Divines gave you. Rod would have waited for the cover of night to kill. You had no reason to risk your life recklessly. Diplomacy would have sufficed. You don't know that, Sam. Rod would have captured the girl. What if I couldn't find her? If I hadn't taken action, a tragedy might have occurred. What then? Should I apologize to the corpse for my inaction? Ah, I see now. You do? Yes, you still feel regret over that man's death in Holtmeyer. It wasn't your fault, young master. That man, nobody could have saved him from death. Not even you. The attack was too swift. I could scarcely follow it with my eyes. He was cut down right before me, Sam. I wasn't ten feet away. You're telling me my hesitation didn't result in his demise? Perhaps it did. Perhaps it didn't. We may never know. There's no reason to torture yourself over the past. You can't change what happened. You must learn to move on. Is that how you deal with your failures and shortcomings? Consigning them to oblivion? Casting them to the back of your mind? I live one day at a time. So long as I stay true to my virtues, I have no ragwits. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. To err is to be human. Learn from your mistakes. Do not martyr yourself over them. Only then can you find the will to forgive yourself. Thank you, Sam. I'm always here if you need me. You have some actual wisdom from Fire Emblem? Okay, okay. Grampy, what is this? This hog water? It tastes awful. That is dark ale, Lil Annette. The flavor is far from ideal, but it's dirt cheap to brew. Commoners guzzle it to drown their sorrows. Ew, it's dreadful, Grampy. Absolutely terrible. Commoners are barbarians to swig such foul swill. The taste is like that of a child's intestines. I don't know why you know what that would taste like. And just how exactly would you reckon? I, <laughs> oh, Samuel, you get it. Ew, it's stinky and nasty, like that piss soaked in feces. I, what is happening? Your descriptions are quite vivid, dear little Annette. If you hate it so much, why do you keep drinking? Ah, uh, I can't stop, Grampy. Make the icky taste go away. You took another gulp. Why would you do that? 
grampy. I I don't feel so good. Why go wasted? Another victim. Goodness, I never expected such a dainty lady to expel so much bile. Truly impressive. Her constitution will grow formidable given time. Foreshadowing? Some of these supports are so interesting. Who is who is this guy? A commoner sage. Okay. And this is my boy Buggy. He looks pretty cool. A huge thug who loves to steal, drink and gamble with some skills. Good bet. 30% hit when initiate battle. Steal. And lock touch. With a devil axe? Okay, okay. Let's talk to this homie. Huh? What are you looking at? See something on my face? I was just wondering who you were. Name's Bottoman. And you? Do I look like I give half a goddamn about you? You could be the Prince of Anduin for all I care. That's who I am. Sure, and I'm Lord Alexander of House Spear Garden. Somehow I doubt that. What a what a homie. When do I get Devil Axe, homie? Angelus, my man, play us a song. The one about feet. Oh, a song you say? I have just the one. I'm. <laughs> there once was a brigand named Ragnar the Red. He had a devil axe which he took to his bed. <laughs> one day he woke up, found his wife laying dead. So he took that axe and struck it on his head. Dang. Boo! Boo! That was awful. Play something jolly. Wow, tough crowd, eh? But no worries, I've plenty more where that came from. Ahem. <laughs> our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn. No, Angelus, a jolly song. Jolly. Lighthearted, even. I must have mixed up jolly with existentially depressing. Yeah, it's a common mistake. Angelus, we all do that. <laughs> oh, silly me. That happens all the time. <laughs> Ahem. Blood Mary, Blood Mary, hey, hey, hey. If one more person whines about my singing, I'll beat them today. <laughs> day, day. You know, on second thought, I think I liked the first song. Hee <laughs> hee, that's what I thought. There's something wrong with that part. What an interesting game this is. Alright, let's talk to Coulter first. Hey, Coulter. I'm glad you came. Thought you wouldn't show. It's me. We're talking about. I know. That's the problem. Are you implying I'm unreliable? A thief is ne neither early nor late. He arrives exactly when he intends. Is this Gandalf? Is that what's going on? I don't think that's how the quote goes. Whatever. I'm here now, aren't I? What's our mission? Why? Why'd you assemble a whole crew? My father needs me to go on a diplomatic assignment. Real quiet like. No, ha no hassle, no fuss, no muss. I see. That follows. Politicians, thieves. The two go practically hand in hand. Exactly. Now you're getting the picture. I won't have you, I won't have you pick any pockets though. Instead, I need you to meet the Mothrock rats. Gather intel from me on the down low. What? Because I'm a thief, you think I know people? Wrong again! You think I'm some scumbag who hangs with rats? <laughs> Kidding. Sure. Anyway, uh, regarding Thea, do you think she'll be any use to her army? I'm not sure about her general skill level. Of course she will. She trained her. I trained her myself. She can't pick locks for crap. But if you want goons and dice, she's top tier. You've seen her in action then? Didn't you only return recently? Sure, but that doesn't matter. I watched her handiwork today. She knows what she's doing. Total pro, just like me. I'll take your word for it. Make me proud, Coulter. I'll pay you handsomely. You better. I need the dough. The money too, even. All right, let's talk to Thea, best girl. Bottom in. Thea. 
Can I help you with something? Or are you trying to hit on me? You're making me uncomfortable. Sorry. Coulter's mentioned you, but we uh, never got to meet. You look a lot like him. I don't know if that's a good person. As far as bad flirting goes, this is up there. It's not often someone says I look like a man. That, was, that, that wasn't what I meant. Reassuring. <laughs> God. So, um, uh, do you come around these parts often? <laughs> He's so good at this. I live here. Right. We seem to be getting off on the wrong foot. Let me try again. Do you have any fun hobbies? Any pursuits? I like stabbing people who ask dumb questions. <laughs> do you like horses? <laughs> Yo, stab him! Sure. They taste alright. Yo, okay, alright. The meat's a bit chewy. Uh, never mind, I'll take it. Oh, he left. Right when I thought we were starting to click. Honestly, uh, Bottomin and Thea do not seem to play. As of now, I'm thinking Jaka and Thea. They're both giving me whimsy vibes. Let's talk to Ferdinand, best character. By the divines, what false will does this establishment serve? Do they know? Do they not know which a legendary figure stands in their presence? I am Sir Ferdinand the Sixth, son of Sir Joseph the World Walker. How dare they place a glass of pig urine before me and call it beer? Butler, you must speak to the fellow who runs this establishment at once. Tell that lazy cur to clean up his act or I'll rain fire upon him. Yes, Master Ferdinand. Come now, where is your usual enthusiasm? Hop to it, my boy. My lord, with all due respect, the, this bar's owner is a woman. What? Now that you mention it, I can easily see the problem. Women must never brew beer. They will curse it with their raw emotions, ruining the taste. Actually, my lord, I believe it was uh, her husband who brewed it. You were... Naturally, just as I said, you cannot trust a man to do a woman's job. Only women can ferment the rice, in a manner befitting this ancestor. This is not rice beer, my lord. Simple-minded fool, of course it isn't. That was a test, and you passed. Harumph. Excellent deductive work, as always, butler. Truly incredible. I have a name, you know. It's Jeeves. Jeeves is... What a butler name to have. Names, shames, only commoners care enough to remember such trifles. Now pass me another beer. I've not yet had my fill of this delicious prayer. <laughs> uh, this fellow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When do I get to play with... Uh, when does Ferdinand join my team? There you are, Sean. Been looking for you. Good job. You found me. Want a cookie? Hilarious as always, but what a shocker. You're sitting off in the corner again. I'm getting Axel vibes from Sean, but like way more depressed. And that's okay. I tend to do that. Mm-hmm. I see you haven't touched your drink. Something on your mind? Do you even have to ask? I suppose not. Do you still think about him, huh? About Jacob? Come on, bud. Please. Must you always poke your nose in other people's business? Sorry, I'm sure you don't like to hear his name. No, it's fine, Bob. You're not at fault. I'm always here. You can tell me anything. I'm good at keeping my lips sealed. Except I've talked to everyone at this bar. Nobody will know. Not even your father. You're the only person who does. That's enough for me. I feel bad that you have to share my burden. I don't have to, Sean. I do so willingly. Always have, always will. Yeah, you know what it's like to lose someone important. That feeling never goes away. It just sits there, right in the pit of your stomach. It does. Hey, what say we swig a few down, eh? For Jacob. Sure, bod. For Jacob. I guess I'm done talking to everyone. I wonder if there's like any secret items in here. But I guess I won't spend too much time. Uh, 
but I will look one place. Nope, okay. There might be something in here, but that is for a future me to find. Or someone else. Who could say? Well, this has been fun and heartbreaking. Just another night out on the town. Seems everyone has their own personal problems. Still, it's great to see the old gang again. The gang together. Guess I'll hit the hay for the night. We'll leave tomorrow. Alright. Um, that was a fun beach episode. I wonder if they're going to have these like between every chapter or just when we're in town. I don't know, but... uh. Might make another video super soon, but we'll call it there for today. So I will see you guys later.